channel excuse the state of me as you will have seen by the thumbnail i'm not very well um my dog's blooming to my head here and she's clawing at the sofa so oh where do i start guys so as you will be aware um i've had a problem with this year um and i said numerous times on my videos that I've gone deaf in one ear. Hang on. I needed to finish her. I absolutely needed a cuppa. Um, so, it's been going on and going on for a good two weeks, probably a bit longer, maybe three weeks, I don't know. Um, and apart from deafness in my one ear, I've been okay. I've been plodding along. But I got up this morning and I have to explain, guys, if I start um, talking gibberish or um, saying the wrong words, just bear with me. So I got up this morning and went away, as you do, and I felt okay. I uh, went in to see my daughter because she called me and I couldn't speak properly. I couldn't string a sentence together. Um, I had to really, really think about what I was saying <coughs> because I couldn't get my words out. Sorry about the dog. Um, and then I left her room and I was struggling to get my hand around the door handle. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but... I was grasping for the door handle and my hand wasn't making contact with it. Uh, I got to the top of the stairs and the same thing happened and my hand wasn't um, grasping the banister. My sense of perception was all out. Um, I was okay, I got down the stairs okay, but I knew that something was off. My sense of perception was off and... I just felt odd and I came downstairs I sat on the sofa Howard doesn't want to be in the video but I can't even remember without actually speaking to him can you come in the video and explain how what I was like you don't really want to be in the video guys oh. Touch up a bit. so I was trying to speak what was I saying how you're talking rubbish. It was gibberish, it was like wasn't it? She was talking backwards. So. I knew what I wanted to say. I knew what words I wanted to come out. But you couldn't do it, did you? No. And she was getting angry with it as well. I was. And I was really concerned because I thought she'd had a stroke. Well, I may well have had a stroke. Um, I could not make head nor tail. Everything that was coming out of my mouth wasn't... I know what I wanted to say, and it's really hard to explain it, but what I wanted to say wasn't coming out. It wasn't making any sense. It was just total gibberish. And I was laughing because I knew what I wanted to say, but it wasn't happening. I was laughing, wasn't I? You sounded backwards. That's what it did. Yeah, everything was backwards. Um, and he said, from the doctors, and I looked at the clock, and it was past the time of the e-consult. Because our doctors are. Um, it says, let me put the coffee down, um, it says on the e-consult on the doctors that you can um, seek medical help 24-7 from the comfort, com I'm doing it again, from the comfort of your own home, um, but you can't, can you? No. At 12 o'clock they turn off the e-consults and you can't speak to anybody until the next morning and you've only got until 12 o'clock to get it in. If you're a little bit late getting it in, then you won't be seen until the following day. It's a ridiculous system. So I'd missed it. So that was that. I just said, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Didn't really think much of it. I just knew that something wasn't that right and I couldn't speak properly. But I thought, I'm just going to get on with my day. Um, but then we have other things happened. <laughs> So Howard said then, now it always looks like, I, like I've had a stroke because I've got a dodgy mouth. <laughs> so yeah, 
So I did the test. Um, I can raise my hands up above my shoulders. There's no weakness. My face haven't dropped. You might think it has, but my my wonky smile. My smile is always wonky. See what I mean? My smile is always wonky. Um, that's just me, isn't it? And if you look back on any of my videos, you will see that I have a wonky, a wonky smile. I've always called myself a wonky donkey. So that's nothing unusual. <coughs> so he said, right, get yourself dressed. We'll go to the chemist. Our chemist closes between half past 12 and half past one. So that wasn't happening either. Then the girls came down because Chelsea had a day off and Becca was upstairs and they came down and said that I was talking rubbish and I wasn't making sense of my words and yeah, a bit of an argument ensued because I got a bit ratty Ooh, because okay. they were picking on me and anyway, to cut a long story short, we got to the chemist who told us that it was a doctor problem, not a chemist problem. <laughs> and they wouldn't do anything for me. They said, you need to see a doctor. So back on the phone I go. Oh my God, I look awful. I've got no makeup on. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Back on the phone I go. And I eventually get through and explained everything and we were told that we would have to wait until the doctor was free to speak to us or to speak to me eventually we get the phone call that she needed to see us or see me how i'd waited in the car went to the doctors um so she did an ear exam because i think it's all stemming from my ears um because of this deafness and this ear infection. So basically, I've got a fever. I've got an ear infection. My eardrum hasn't burst, but it's red and inflamed. Um, but all that ties in with an ear infection. But my speech doesn't tie it tie, <laughs> again. Does not tie in with an ear infection. So she's given me these. It's Optimize, oh, optimize ear spray. Optimize ear spray. It's a um, antibiotic ear spray. So I've got that to take a drop in each ear three times a day. And she also corrected my prescription while I was there because that was off. Um, and away I go. And then the doctor phones me back while we were in the car and she said something isn't ringing right with her. She don't feel that my speech is connected. She said, I think you might have had a transemic attack. I'm not quite sure what that means, um, but basically a mini stroke. So she's authorised, not authorised. She wants me to have urgent bloods done on Thursday of this week and she sent me a referral to the stroke clinic at the hospital. Um, not urgent. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> not urgent, like not today or anything, but she said that I do need to be seen. It may turn out to be nothing. It may all be connected because I can't hear what I'm saying. My words are not coming out properly. And I mean, I'm fingers crossed and I'm hoping that that's the case um, because I can't hear anything. And that's why off. she shouts. Yeah, and that's why I'm shouting because yeah. I don't hear anything. So she's hoping that that's the case. But she said to be on the safe side, I need to go to be seen and be checked over by the stroke clinic. So that's where we are at the minute, guys. Until Thursday, I'm taking these eardrops three times a day. And taking meds for the fever and the ears as well. And I'm waiting, I'm going to have blood tests on Thursday and I'm waiting to hear from the stroke clinic. Um, You're waiting to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting to hear. Um, yeah, so she said they might deem that it's urgent and they may have me in as early as tomorrow or it could be up to two weeks. Um, so that's where we are at the minute. So have I had a stroke? I don't know. I don't know. 
my gut reaction is saying no. It's all connected with my ears. But he saw the state of me this morning. I couldn't string two two <laughs> to win it again. I couldn't string two words together. I couldn't form a sentence. I'm still talking slow now because I'm not slurring, but I'm talking slow for my brain to catch up with what I want to say because I talk really fast. And my brain just isn't dealing with it at the minute because my balance is off and everything. I've seen people who's had strokes and I was completely positive and I've had a stroke this morning. Um, and my old one, I've got to be honest, my old one. But her voice was so bad, wasn't it? it yeah. Her, her verbal... It wasn't slid, but I could not backwards. string a sentence together. It was backwards, that's what it was. Yeah. But a couple of hours later... You were fine. I was fine. Yeah. I say fine. I'm getting tired now, so it's happening again, but not like earlier. But it came back, didn't it? Yeah. And I was able to... This morning, I couldn't text. I couldn't text a sentence um, because when I was trying to text, the words, what I wanted to say was coming out like a string of letters, but they weren't forming words, if that makes any sense. For example, say I wanted to say look. I wasn't typing look. I was typing J J J K K J J J K. That sort of thing. And it was just all muddled up. All the wrong words. All the wrong letters. And my speech was doing the same thing. Had you had a drink? I hadn't had a drink. Yeah, okay. So yeah, he was convinced. He was absolutely convinced. The doctor is like that. She's not sure, but she said to be on the safe side, she wants me to go to be checked out. And I don't think it is that. Maybe it's wishful thinking, I don't know. But I don't think it is that. I think it's all connected with these legals of mine. And I'm hoping that the drip drips <laughs> to win it again. I'm hoping that the drops and everything sort it out and then I'll be able to hear what I'm saying. I told you to and my the speech will be me. black. Black. Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on with me guys? Anyway. There's always something in our house. Twelve and a half minutes of wittering on about whether I've had a stroke or not. But I just thought I'd keep you up to date. I was going to do a charity shop haul today, but I'm not even going to chuck that in. I'm just leaving it like this and I will do another video once I know what's going on. And we will get back to you. We will get back to you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, please subscribe. Please like. And pray that I'm still here for my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.